After two long years of no MCU films and a year of delays, Black Widow has finally been released and it's great. It's just great. Marvel does it all the time. Please note everything that I will say in this video is just my own opinion and you're free to comment down below. What did you think of the Black Widow film? Hey everyone, S Dub Nation here. Please don't forget to check out that Twitter. It's going to pop up on your screen right now. Like, comment, and subscribe. And with that being said, let's just move right into our review. I tell people my sister moved out west. You're a science teacher. Your husband, he renovates houses. You're thinking about moving, but you're going to wait until the interest rates go down. That's not my story. <laughs> I was pleasantly surprised by how good this film was. I mean, come on, it's been two years since we've seen another Marvel film. I didn't know they had it in them. F you, Marvel. You guys did it again. <laughs> I have lots of great things to say about this film, especially because this was my fourth highest anticipated film of this year. With that being said, let's move right into the good. And the good thing that comes to mind here is that the MCU, after two long years, is back. And it felt so good to see a MCU film in the theater again. Oh my god, the experience. Just having the experience of being inside of a theater again. I mean, it's always great. My first trip back to the theaters was, I think, three weeks ago to go see Furious 7. And then I went to go see F9 later. And then now I've seen Black Widow in theaters. I can't wait to see what more theatrical experiences I'm going to have for the rest of the year. But this one was just a great experience to go out with friends and just have a great time. The cinematic action is very well choreographed with more realistic fights and stunts and bloodier. And it has more bones crushing and popping back into place and just legs getting snapped and people's backs getting broken. And like I said, noses getting broken all of it is so much bloodier and more visceral, but also have a level of verisimilitude to it. So, like, if somebody gets hit, you know that, yeah, their nose is going to start bleeding or they're going to start touching their nose because it hurts. Like, they're not invincible. And that's what I really like. I like the action inside of this film. Now, some of that is, you know, very mixed upon for me, but... With this movie, the stunts, the choreography, the hand-to-hand -hand combat stuff, I thought it all worked out very well. Especially with Taskmaster's hand-to-hand -hand combat stuff, I thought, I thought his stuff was just great. I thought Taskmaster's combat was just so great. And the way that they utilized all of the different forms of the heroes like Captain America's shield and Black Panther and then also incorporating Black Widow, it made for fun action uh, i thought all of it was pretty great especially because i got to see it on the big screen all of the references and the callbacks to the past of the mcu and also the past of natasha are all put front and center here we finally get to know what happened in budapest with hawkeye and black widow we finally understand what the red room is we finally understand her family and her background and who her family actually is. And it's just so satisfying filling in the blanks between Captain America Civil War and Infinity War here. And the moments when they happen, you're like, whoa, okay, that's how she got that? That's why she did that? Oh my God, that's so cool. Oh, so that's why. All of it worked for me. Surprisingly enough, Tatasha isn't really the best character inside of this film. It's actually her sister. Elena. Now, I had my doubts going inside of this film because looking from the trailers, I can tell she was going to be a charismatic character, a witty character, you know, going back and forth with Natasha. You know, every character does that inside of the MCU, but hers was different. Even though I did have my doubts still going inside of the film, I did hear whispers about Elena being the best character inside of the film, and I went into that film thinking that, okay, Elena better be the best character inside of this film. She didn't disappoint. She was just so cute and lovable and witty, but also awesome and very deadly at the same time. And like I said, charismatic. And I just couldn't help but love her in every scene that she was in. I thought her banter with Natasha was very great. I thought her dialogue with everyone around her was pretty great. She made the film a whole lot better to me. And I just thought that she did a fantastic job inside of this film. Yelena is fantastic. This movie, not so much fantastic. It's great to fantastic. And it's all riding on Yelena, the action, and also the family aspects. I love the family aspects about this film. It gives you a nice little emotion emotional connection to these characters even though they've all done some really bad things they have 
gushing red blood in their ledger. This film kind of humanizes them a little bit more. And even though at the end of the day, they're still kind of assassins. They're still bad guys. You can't help but love their family. I love the Red Guardian character. He was pretty hilarious with him trying to tell the backstory between him and Captain America. All of it was pretty hilarious. And also Rachel White's character was actually pretty great. I actually loved her character inside of the film. And it, it actually worked for me. And they introduced a lot of different things that will propel the MCU going forward with her type of technology. The themes are very important and very relevant to this day. And I think that the themes work here because it is a part of Black Widow's past. You can't do a Black Widow movie. You can't do a Black Widow TV show, any type of story, without incorporating these huge heavy themes and they're very mature very tragic but at the same time they're needed for this story and i like the fact that they didn't just wash over that they perfectly played it out inside of the film into a fantastic opening montage for me i thought that the opening montage was pretty great not the beginning of the film i didn't think that that was all right it felt like it moved way too fast and the pacing in the beginning of it wasn't that great but i just thought that opening montage all of it was pretty great. With that being said, let's move right into the mix. And the mix thing that comes to mind here is that the film didn't feel like it had many stakes. I mean, obviously, because we know that Natasha dies. I mean, she died two years ago inside of Avengers Endgame. So the fact that this film came out literally two years after she died, we've already accepted the fact that, yeah, she's dead. So having a film with Natasha in it and they're having stakes and then... You know, she's doing all of this high-speed action and stuff where she could die. You know that she's not going to die. The film didn't really have that many stakes to me, especially because I knew where these characters were going to leave off at. I mean, I knew that Yelena was going to be in Hawkeye later this year. So, obviously, I knew where each character was going to land. And I, I just didn't feel fear for most of the characters. The Red Room, like I said, in good. It was very great that they didn't wash over that. But it's very heavy-handed, deep, relevant things for Disney. And I don't know if you would actually like younger audiences realizing the tragic stuff that actually goes down inside of this film with these little girls. Especially what happens and what we know about the real world that this stuff really does kind of happen. And not the assassin part, but everything that happens inside of this film dealing with those little girls, it happens in real life. So it's very deep heavy-handed and I don't think that younger audiences and most of the parents would actually find that appealing because it is very disturbing and fearful. Also while many people criticize the Fast and Furious films for giving Dominique Toretto plot armor they better do the exact same thing to Natasha Romanoff inside of this film because her, Yelena, everyone inside of this film have heavy plot armor. We have Natasha jumping out of a sky base and landing on the ground. She did all of this but then died from a fall. Black Widow has major plot armor for Natasha Romanoff. With that being said, let's move right into the bad. And the bad thing that comes to mind here is that Taskmaster is very underwhelming. The mystery is predictable when the time comes, and what was once an awesome villain and foil to Natasha on paper it turned out to be pretty lame. The combat was great. The characterization was great when they had their helmet on. And all of that was pretty good. The reveal just was not. Real quick, before I get into my final thoughts, I'd like to take the time to say that if you are a big fan of Marvel and Black Widow and the MCU in general, please don't forget to check out that playlist up above for everything Marvel related that I have on my channel. Also, please don't forget to check out that Twitter. That link is always in the description. You can get full updates on when I go see movies and what Marvel movies I'm watching and whatever I'm watching, reviews on Flash and Superman and Lois, all of that. You can check that out in the link down below in the description and also the Marvel ranking will be there as well. Please don't forget to come back in the near future for more MCU rankings based on the Black Widow release. With that being said, let's move right into my final thoughts. In conclusion, Black Widow is certainly a great to fantastic installment to the MCU. I had a blast finally seeing this film and finally seeing a Black Widow film that should have came out in 2017, but it's whatever. I got to see this film in theaters, had a great experience with it, and I just loved it. I had a blast with it. It's certainly better than Captain Marvel and definitely one of the best female-led comic book films ever, up there with Wonder Woman in my opinion. 
I'm giving Black Widow an A and an 8.929 out of a 10. It's, it can go either way for me, but today I'm going to go with an 8.9. And I would say definitely see it in theaters. Skip that whole Disney Plus nonsense. No, skip it. This is a film made to be seen in a theater. Alright guys, that was it for my spoiler-free review. Please note that everything that I did say in this video was just my real opinion. And you're free to comment down below. What did you think of Black Widow? Please don't forget to check out that Twitter that's going to pop up on your screen right now. Looks like I'm going to have to do some MCU rankings now. I'm going to be doing a lot of rankings in the near future. So come back to this channel for some more Marvel MCU style rankings for the Black Widow release. Like, comment, and subscribe guys. And I will see you all next time. Peace.